What's going on, everybody? So we just got the brand new update a little bit ago for Eternal Evolution. I'm pretty excited about this. I did a video earlier today about Amat, the new character that's going to be coming out in this update tomorrow. But for the most part, the TLDR on that video was, hey, Crimson Abyss is important. And if this character, this new summon character can help us push that game mode for early mid game players, it's going to be huge because it's going to be a passive source of XP and Soul Rubble that's going to be increased for you. And for late game players, it's going to help you generate more G Mutation Crystal 2s, which if you're like me and you don't push Twilight Lands um, to top 10, then is, it's going to be an extremely important thing to kind of have on your account. So I'm hoping that the Crocodile with Ama here is going to push that over the edge. Um, we have some really interesting things going on with her kit um, or their kit here, but honestly, there's not much here to go over. So for the most part, what you'll need to know is there's an alligator, it bites, does some AOE damage, um, can gain invincibility for targets that have invincibility. It can kind of take the invincibility and give it to themselves. Um, looks like they keep their invincibility, but you get it as well. They have some free ultimate potentially if all the summoners keep, or summoned units, I should say, keep dying from Amat activate a free ultimate skill which is pretty cool but for the most part i'm hoping that it's going to be a powerhouse dps for crimson abyss maybe not maybe it will be we'll see new limited recruitment cart uh recruitment event i should say for amat as well as for a wamagon not super excited about wamagon but i will take the amat one of course i'll be testing out amat probably at immortal because i want to see if they're able to improve my crimson abyss comp next up we have the mirror of reformation for Ama, for Chaos Soul Crystal Nuclei, and we also get uh, Leo Soul Crystal Nuclei, so pretty cool there. Kamuzo's Bell, Details Gathering, Premium Development, a new Elite Chapter for free Rickert copies. That is pretty nice. Rickert is still one of the top assassins, and it's someone I would actually invest into for a lot of PvE content for the assassins, so pretty exciting. We also have a new Endless Battle event. Pretty cool. A new summit arena and a new guild expedition okay so lots and lots of things uh coming to the game in terms of events which is always nice guild expedition was not super exciting last time but it is something and now we have guilds that are able to somewhat be able to recruit players um at a regular basis game content we have optimized the store system added a new tab to the store um to sell astro astral coupon packs optimize some payment optimize the guild system added commander technology okay okay so this is important because this is added to the guild technology which are massive bonuses for each class but now you can use gene modules and gene evolution cores the commander technology level enhancement materials these are new to develop a commander's faction aura. So this is interesting. I wonder when they say faction, I believe they're talking about like, you know, your actual faction faction. You know, if you go into like the hero menu and you go to the gallery, um, that's like whatever faction you are, but maybe it's referring to the class. I'm not quite sure. Some of these times that the updates are posted on Discord, they have some typos or some wording um mishaps and things like that so i can't say for certain but we'll have to see when it's in the game i'm really interested in this this is going to be massive bonuses and uh heck probably going to be improving the summoner one immediately we added a new item the combat amplifier you can use these two amplifiers before guild hunt and guild expedition battles to increase the damage caused to the bosses in the two modes in the next battle okay i guess it's like uh like a potion you know you you consume it you get stronger up to the lineup of guild expedition modify the upper limit of challenge tickets to two and reduce the number of bosses in each week to three mm. okay guild challenges and officials can now check the remaining challenge tickets optimize the hp display okay so reducing the amount of bosses in each week to three is interesting I wonder if we're going to be able to get as many breakthrough cores as we were before. Huh. Okay. Um, and then they updated the guild shop. They merged the original guild shop with the advanced guild shop and they added new redeemable items. So they added the, um, 
uh, gene evolution core and the combat amplifiers. Okay, so gene evolution cores are for the commander technology and the combat amplifiers are for you to get some extra damage. We'll see if these things are somewhat interesting for you to purchase and actually use, but I don't think they will be. The G Evolution cores obviously will be because it's going to unlock the commander technology level, but I'm not 100% convinced on the combat amplifier. So we'll see. Uh, the, honestly, the biggest thing for me is the commander technology level. We got to see how important these bonuses are and what they're actually going to do for the game. On top of that, what is Ama going to do for the summoner comp? Wait and see. Hopefully a Crimson Abyss God so that we can actually push to stage 24, which as far as I've seen, I don't think anyone's beaten it, but let me know in the comment section down below if someone has on maybe on a different server or something. Um, I haven't really seen any strategy information in the game, which implies that there is no one that's beaten it. Um, but maybe it's just on my server. We'll see. Maybe oh, it's the way to go. She's going to be the truth. We'll see. I say she, but I don't even know what it is. So I guess we'll wait till tomorrow. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Pretty good update, I think. And... Uh, well, we'll see what the commander technology is like. Honestly, it's hard to say whether this is a good update or not without actually looking at the systems, how long it takes, and of course, what we're actually able to get from the commander technology system. So until then, I'll see you all for the next one.